Hey everybody and welcome to a new update from Universal Studios Hollywood. It's been quite a while since we've had an update from the park due to work and our trip to Orlando. So we figured uh, during the annual Passholder Night or Passholder Takeover we would uh, do a quick update as well. So here we are on the upper lot. Uh, Halloween Horror Nights construction is commencing in the Parisian Courtyard here on the upper lot. Not too much to see yet. It looks like some kind of facade. Obviously, <laughs> it's a facade, uh, but not really too much to see uh, to identify what it might be. I'm sure we'll start getting announcements here for Halloween Horror Nights anytime. Moving over, the uh, rest of the upper lot here is some track on site for Fast and Furious Hollywood Drift. Uh, it's kind of awesome to start seeing track on site already. Uh, so this is looks to be more maybe on the station side, transfer. I don't think we'll start seeing too much track on the actual course yet, but we'll see. Over behind the VIP area, more track. You can see buildings being built. It seems to be quite uh, a bit taller than I actually thought it would be. The track seems higher up than I thought it would be in this particular area, if I'm being completely honest. And uh, yeah, just a lot, a lot of work going on since our last update. Just a little bit more of the track there. You can see some more supports being added. Nice view all the way through to Springfield, which we'll probably not be able to see too much longer as they continue to rise, the you know, buildings continue to rise. And just an overview of the area where they are working. You can see lots of footers already have been dug and poured. But most of the work recently seems to definitely be in this area over here, closer to where the walls are as you're walking through the upper lot. That would almost make sense, uh, maybe because they want to hopefully open that area a little bit more in the near future as the walls are you know, right encroaching on the upper lot and there's not a whole lot of space for people to get around. Especially during Halloween Horror Nights, it'll be interesting to see how, how that all works. And then looking down the hill all the way down towards the lower lot, just a lot of work going on. It's a huge project, obviously. Just another look down towards the bottom half of where all of the construction is happening, all the work is happening. The, the little parking lot you see on the left there, that's where they've been bringing track in uh, to bring up to this area. So here is basically where the track is right now. Moving down to the lower lot here, this is the first level of the Starway. So this is where the coaster is rumored to go around and under the Starway. Um, the supports would certainly seem to support that and the artwork that they've shared and the sound uh, and the, the sound issues that they've shared with neighbors and how they're going to mitigate all of that certainly seems to support that uh, rumor there. Again, as of this time, we don't have an official full layout of the attraction, but I'm sure at some point that will be coming. Looking forward to that. And then just a little bit more on the first kind of uh, area after the first section of the Starway, looking towards the construction. So this is basically the other side of the building, the, what we presume to be the queue and station of the attraction. And then just a little more looking down uh, the, the elevation gain and 
I um, don't think there's any huge drops on this attraction as far as, you know, you're not going to have a 100 foot drop, but the uh, overall elevation changes are going to be pretty epic, which is kind of going to be kind of awesome. And then moving back up uh, after we went down to the lower lot and did Mummy and Transformers and a few other things. Uh, moving back up, you can see a little bit more work going on here. It's hard to believe that just uh, a year or so ago, this was all just trees and bushes and the Universal City sign. Still hoping at some point we might see them try to uh, either re uh, you know, bring that sign back or maybe a a new version of it in this area. It would be a nice little tribute to what was here before. But as you can see, as it's getting later in the day, obviously work is stopping. They are under restrictions as far as how much they can, how much time they can work here, how late they can work on the site, which is why this you know, project is probably taking a little bit longer than some other recent Universal projects. A look at the uh, Halloween Horror Nights house behind Mummy. No idea what it is yet. I um, mean, this this is just uh, obviously one of those spectacular views uh, of the Nithi Park there at Universal. Here we are at the last section of the Starway, heading back up, almost tripping on the Starway. Next, we're gonna head over to the studio tour. It's our first time on the 60th anniversary of the studio tour. We absolutely loved it. Loved the uh, new new video intros with uh, Jimmy Fallon in the tuxedo and some of the other intros from you know people like Al Roker and Steven Spielberg talking about different things, which was great. They still had to keep that uh, big fat liar clip in there because you know completely relevant. Speaking of the studio tour, here we are heading down the hill on the studio tour, so we'll just get a, a really good look at all of the construction happening for Fast and Furious here. One thing I will mention, uh, not in this part of the tour, but uh, at the last end of the tour, uh, you always know when you're on a studio tour with a whole bunch of pass holders, because everybody was absolutely laughing at Fast and Furious, the pre-show. Uh, that is now maybe 20 seconds that uh, that first when you're in that first room and then the the party uh, you know the, du the double negative and uh, Vin Diesel you know we don't work for nobody and all of the all of the the, the uh, you know all of the uh, the script and everything all of the script and everything people were just laughing um, which you should because it's kind of ridiculous uh, and I, I did notice and I it's funny that they even now cut off the last uh, bit of the video after you go through the attraction uh, where they're all kind of sitting on the car and there's now you know the Jimmy Ka the Jimmy uh, Fallon there's now the Jimmy Fallon clip there uh, thanking you for doing the tour so they even cut that out and if you remember when Fast and Furious Super Turds first opened they, the pre-show started basically before the Psycho House. You would see the Vin Diesel's car there, uh, and that pre-show, you know, just lasted, you know, 10, 15, 20 minutes of the tour. And it's just funny to now see how much it's been reduced over the, the last few years. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see if that uh, supercharge sticks around once Hollywood Drift opens don't think the park needs two Fast and Furious attractions, so it'll be interesting to see what happens there, and we'll find out soon. Uh, so we absolutely love the 60th tour. Here we are in Courthouse Square. We did do all of the stops uh, at the Bates Motel, 
down here. We did get off the tram and do all of the photo ops, which was fantastic. Really well done. I love the Hollywood sign and the glamour trams and everything. It, uh, really, really well done. I hope that the uh, some of the photo ops end up on the uh, upper lots. And I, one thing I do want to mention, we did do the butterbeer ice cream last night. I don't know if we got the right order because this is very different than Orlando. This seemed like vanilla with butterbeer swirl. And in Orlando, it's just butterbeer ice cream, the soft serves. So I don't know if we got the wrong thing, uh, but I did want to mention that last night. I mean, it was still good, but the texture was different. We were just in Orlando, you know, last month. And that's going to wrap it up for our Universal Studios Hollywood update. So I hope you enjoyed that. We will be back at the park soon.